And we're back with some more Room World. And right now I'm getting some of our people to adjust the colours of their gear to match their their new family line colours. So Lunk is going to be green. Either after the Incredible Hulk or because he's an orc, I'm not even sure. Uh, Stalker here is going to be a really weird luminous sort of blue looking colour, probably toxic. Uh, Chewbacca is going to be sandy blonde, because of course they are. And Smokey is going to be sort of a pinkish colour for some reason. Uh, no one knows why. Don't, don't, don't mention it. Anyway, uh, next up, we're about to have our second lifter come online. I think after that, we are going to go for an agri hand. We are going to plant a, whole, plant a whole bunch of potatoes in here. This is going to become our main crop area. We'll have to move our animals out at some point, but for now, this is a protected enclosed area. So, you know, raiders can't set fire to it. And today, we are going to have our first child introduced to the colony, is the hope. Um, how we manage that, yeah, we'll, we'll, well, yeah, never mind. We'll, we'll get around to that. It, Mm. One thing I learned in the in-between times was I got rid of the two doors here. I used to have a door here and here jammed open to try and keep this place from, well, to keep the cold in. Turns out that was negatively affecting the temperature having three doors in a row. It was somehow sucking heat out, or sucking the chill out, so I, I basically removed those two doors and now we're running on two coolers and this whole thing is chugging along quite nicely and is at maximum cold temperature. In fact, we could probably get away with just one cooler. This one's on low power and this one's like drawing the 200 watts. I don't know why, but yeah, maybe don't use so many doors like I did. It's time for the birth of our second lifter, though. I need to start giving these lifters names. They're going to be around for a while, so let me grab a couple. Our first bot will be called Nathaniel W. They'll be our first lifter, and our second one is Chris Y. Um, welcome to the team. Uh, though, I don't know if you welcome bots. Eh, whatever. We're going to set you all in the same group. Your job, haul, haul, and haul some more. And I'm thinking next up... Yeah, we're going to want to get another basic subcore and then an agri hand to help out with the farming. That should free up an awful lot of labor. I want people to be training on their shooting or worshipping at the anima tree. Which reminds me, what are we looking like there? I had to remove a bunch of uh, the roof area over here to make sure that the anima grass stays alive. Otherwise it dies if you don't give it something to grow into. And we're up to 12. It's actually pretty good. Considering we're not act actively worshipping it, we're just letting them do that whenever the, uh, the mood takes them. Now, I was being an idiot, which, uh, okay, pretty common par for the course. Uh, Damon and Stalker hooked up at some point, and I didn't want them sharing a room because I didn't want them having kids and messing with our, uh, our plans here for growing three kids out of each one of them and having separate parents for all of uh, The big complicated plan we're doing on our, on our breeding. But the problem I didn't consider, or th what I didn't consider was you can keep them both in the same room without them actually sleeping together. For example, right now they're sleeping alone. They've got a minus four moodlet uh, debuff because they're sleeping alone and, and they miss each other. However, you can just put two single beds in there. And there we go. We'll just put Damon in there as well. They're all nice and happy. And look, the minus four moodlet debuff is gone because they're sleeping in the same room. At the same time, we don't have to control their breeding. Where is it? Under social? You can change this here where avoid pregnancy and they will try and avoid pregnancy and keep them in the same double bed. They'll still get the gut loving bonus and it reduces their chance of having a kid. Or you can just leave this tiny little gap right here and, and it turns out that is like a perfect barrier. Uh, it's like, what was it that I knew a girl once and she said, uh, her grandmother said the only sure way to prevent a pregnancy was to balance a disparate between your knees, which was a really good line. And at the same time, yeah, that also, also two single beds tucked up together, no chance, perfectly safe. Do not take this as real life advice, please, for the love of God. For now, we're just taking care of the basics. Getting up a few bedrooms, we've moved Chewbacca, our religious leader in there, namely because their mood is a little bit lower. Well, they've, their mood has been driven down because they have higher requirements due to their religious status. So we're gonna stick them into their own room. Damon and Stalker went into their own room because they're a couple. I think next up it's either Lunk or Smokey get to move out, and then everyone will have their own room. Once Lunk is out or Smokey is out, this will actually be its own private room as well. So at that point, we can slow down just a tad, but not too much. Uh, I think I want to get kids up next, but that's going to require a nursery for them or whatever, a, a crib. And we're also going to need some more research for that. In fact, we're almost finished on fertility procedures and that's when we can start on the child stuff. So that's why I'd like to get the bedrooms finished before we get into that. Stoker has finally reached level eight in plants. I install a little mod that uh, pops it up whenever anyone gains a level. It's just a nice way to keep track of the, the growth of your characters. Lunk here, well, they had plants eight when they started, they're now up to nine. Construction six, they're now up to eight. They've actually been doing quite well. That slow learner hasn't held them back as much as I thought it would. Okay, it actually has held them back quite a bit. Their, their, their melee skills have uh, definitely suffered. They started at three, have smacked a whole bunch of people, and they're still at a three and will be for quite some time. Their melee skills are not going to get much better. Well, we've had a wild woman wander in. They can, they can probably work out really well with the wild man who's wandering around here someplace. Or... Not? That's a wild woman? Yeah, I suppose it's it's one of those uh, those yeti ones. 
Right, so we've got a Wookiee woman who's wandered in. Ooh, a quick sleeper. Actually, we probably... Yeah, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need a female Wookiee woman to, you know, as a breeding partner. Mm, God, it's wrong, no matter how you say that. Yeah, we might want to have to capture those and uh, use those. Yeah, we could probably get two kids out today if we can get their hands on that one. Well, well, well. There's a, a bunch of vampires they're looking to meet up. So if we accept this quest, three vamps will arrive at forced evolution from different directions. They will spend several hours discussing stuff, blah, blah, blah. Important bits. We can betray them, kill them, and steal their vampire stuff. Cool. Or we can just accept the quest and, and they'll convert one of our people naturally. I mean, I kind of want this for Lunk one way or the other because, well, I was kind of worried when we gave them that sword, the Persona Mono Sword. This gets rid of all of their pain because it's painless. That's a bit of a problem. Um, they they might actually just get themselves killed. But if they're a vampire, then so long as their brain doesn't get destroyed, they can get like their legs chopped off and they'll still be fine. Well, we have to give them new legs, but you know what I mean. They wouldn't actually kill them. So I think we have to accept this. Um, yes, accept. Uh, they will arrive in a few hours for their meeting. That is wonderful. What time is it? 2300 hours. Probably should have waited till morning so we have a better chance of killing them all. Okay, our vamps have arrived. Uh, where are you? Oh, wrong one. There we go. We got two up here. And uh, we got Tony and Rare coming in from over this side. And uh, the great thing about these vamps are whatever phages or whatever you want to call them. They've got this deathless thing. Uh, basically, they just can't die as long as the brain remains intact. That's very valuable. So in theory, we could just riddle all of these guys full of bullets. And so long as we don't hit the brain, we should be able to steal their vampire wombo combo thingy. Uh, of course, turning all of our pawns into vampires immediately might be a bad idea. We need some blood bags to go with it. I mean, we do actually have a few blood bags stored up in here. Hmm. And there are a couple of wild people running around the map. I mean, we could get blood bags. Hmm, and for some genies though, or you know, people with the kind traits so that they won't, uh, or whatever the trait is that makes sure that they don't break out of prison. We could just keep a, a bunch of, we'll worry about that, assuming we can get this to work. That is a thing. Now it depends where they meet up. Now they might meet up in the center of the map, which is bad. Uh, I would prefer if they met up somewhere near our base so that we don't have to travel so far because getting involved in a fight out in the open with these might be a bit tricky. Vampires are, are pretty tough. They can do a lot of j jumping around the place as well. Oh, we're waiting for the phages to rock up. Our research has completed infertility procedures. This, this is excellent news. This allows us to do a few things. One, we can extract an ovum directly from one of our female colonists, or slaves or prisoners. Um, we can also prov provide, uh, oh, like you can give vasectomies, tubal ligations, uh, reverse vasectomies, uh, IUDs, like you can prevent pregnancies in your pawns, though those ones come with a risk. If you like do one of these, you potentially can sterilize them forever, so you should probably be pretty careful about the use in that. I think we're going to be sticking with um, our uh, our adjacency bed uh, celibacy scenarios at least until everyone's had their three kids. Once I've had their three kids, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll sterilize them and let them go ham. But until then, no loving. Until you've had your kids, no loving, guys. Now, where did we put those vamps? Well, they seem to be... Oh... They're coming to our dining room. That actually makes sense. That would explain why they actually came here in the first place. Oh, I just noticed something. Let's check the roof over here. I've uh, removed some extra roofing tiles just to make sure that uh, anima grass can keep growing. Just 13 already. Okay, uh, now let's get everyone together immediately. Everyone, a lot of you. Uh, Nathaniel. Yeah, you get out of the way, buddy. You cannot go here out of command range. Okay, this is their meeting. Okay. Um. Everyone get together. Lunk, I'm gonna need you up front. Go here. Uh, who, who are we missing? Chewbacca. God. Okay. Hurry the hell up back here. Uh, what we want to do here is, well, basically be really sneaky. We want to use a, an insanity lance to make them fight amongst themselves. And then the Insanity Lance should buy us enough time. Okay, you, uh, yeah. Tony over there and make him a little bit angry. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, that was stupid of me. Uh, you guys, hold fire. Yep. Uh, Chewbacca. You're on your way. I want you to hold fire as well. Alright, just don't destroy the brain. That's all I ask. Okay. I said don't destroy the brain. Uh, 
Oh, they're not happy with us. Um, well, that's a problem. Open fire. Open fire. Um, you. No, that's an insanity lance. Shock lance? Yeah, let's shock lance that one. Uh, you are allowed to... Yep, yep, over here. Damn it. Why can't you just go there? Oh, okay. You are allowed to fire. No panic. Okay, we got one down. Perfect. Pain stopper, psychic shock. You are wandering? Uh, everyone... They're... They don't seem aggressive. What's your gear? Got a silver mace. In fact... Let's open fire. Now, please do not, under any circumstances, destroy the brain. Eh. Uh, what's wrong with that one? Nothing. Pain stopper. Deathless. We're not even going to bleed out if we tried. What are they doing? Okay, Chewbacca. Open fire. Don't go after our dog. Oh, wow. Our dog is not doing so well. Okay, so... Good? Um... Death rest stopped. Lethal injuries. I have no idea what's going on. Right, okay. So the thing is, if we click on these, we can go absorb the Xenogerm. So what we can do is basically turn one of our colonists immediately into a vampire. Um, but we need blood bags and stuff. Let me think. I need to come up with the logistics of this. In fact, let me check. What's your... If I'm understanding this right, we can get two doses out of them, but the second dose will kill them. Do you think these things are deathless in that... Yeah, the only things that can kill them is a destroyed brain. However, if they share their xenogerm or something or whatever, if they spread their genes to you, if you try and do it a second time, it will kill them. They'll still spread the, germ, the, the genes to you, but sharing their, germs tw their genes twice in a row will kill them. Unless they wait a, two years in between. So we should be able to get two doses out of each one of these, which means we should get four of our people into vampires if we want. Which, we could have got five, but someone had to go and destroy someone's brain. Uh, anyway, let me do some planning here. This might take a second. We were probably going to want to capture them. Put them in here. Uh, remove the legs of one of them. Turn two of our people into vampires to kill one of them off. Keep the other one around. Um, yeah, this could this could work. But a quick shout out here to our uh, our our pet Peter here. That's like right ear, left ear, jaw, tail, right lung, still alive, still going up and taking on a, a freaking vampire. What an animal! God damn. Um. Also, I should be really, really more careful with them because they're bonded. They're actually bonded with Chewbacca. Chewbacca would be very unhappy if they died. Um. Yeah. We're going to put one of the vampires on ice for a bit. Well, that'll keep them out of trouble. Uh, the other one, we've nicked their clothes. The one we did the psychic shock to. And I'm thinking... Yeah, let's make sure they're not getting back up again anytime soon. Well, we had a bit of a mess up on the operation, but that's fine. We'll sort something out later. Uh, for now, everyone's throwing a party. Uh, and because they've captured two vampires or something, I have no idea. Um, actually, can we move them... Carry them to a crypto sleep casket. I don't want them waking up anytime soon. Not until they're immobilized. I don't want to take any chances with a couple of vamps. So once uh, once Chewie's done with that, everyone can have their little party, grab their social mood increase, and uh, then we'll sort something else out. These little bots are great. Agri hands out here all day and all night just chopping. And the thing is, they don't get distracted. They just come out, they start chopping. They don't have to go home and get recreation. They don't have to, you know, get a nap. They don't have to get food. They just come out. They start working until their energy dips to 80%, then they go back and recharge and come back out and do it all over again. And while they're out here doing all this chopping, the moment they finish it, a little bot comes along, removes the wood, brings it back inside so that we don't have to. It, it just ugh, saves so much on labor requirements. There's Chris right now. Hard at work. Oh, Agrihand, we should give you a name. You are now Wild Hunt 001 because that, that was the name that got picked. Okay, kind of fits. It's got the 001 at the end. I mean... The wild hunting bit, maybe not so much. Maybe if we'd had a, a military bot, that might have fit a little bit better. Oh well. So, anyway, uh, in the mornings what I've been doing is uh, taking Cooper out of storage, and then what we do is we do a quick operation. This gains a bunch of experience for Chewbacca, and it takes us further along in our plan and making sure Cooper can't really do anything to annoy us. At the same time, I think he needs time 
Lunk got their, uh, their upgrade. I've been humming and hawing about who to give it to. It's just, we're probably going to end up giving it to all of them, I'd say. We, we've got four doses, I think, if, if I can figure this right. Or at least two. We've definitely got a, definitely got two doses, possibly four. And then in a couple of years' time, we'll be able to convert the fifth person anyway. So the question, I suppose, is who we don't convert at the end. But uh, we're definitely going to need some uh, blood bags. Uh, you, absorb Xenogerm of Cooper. So, Lunk here is going to get their Xenogerm on. And that knocks them on their ass. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I should have known that, shouldn't I? All right, Xenogerm coma for two days. Uh, but if we check under here, they've now got the Sanguifage on top of their normal stuff. And it can't show me... Wait, shouldn't that be like go up higher? I feel like I should be able to see more of the... Yeah, like there should be germline genes. But there's too many genes, so it could... <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's just my screen, or maybe it's because of this rim hood mod. Eh, uh, whatever. So anyway, cold tolerant, heat tolerant, reduced pain. Some of these are not going to work. Strong melee. Melee, that's overridden by one down here. Slow runner is gone? Okay, so now they've got fast runner because that's been overridden by the fast runner gene down here. Poor shooting. Oh no, that still exists. Uh, what is... Oh, slow learner. I think that's still there. Let's check their bio anyway. Slow learner. Oh, now they're pretty. They used to be ugly. Now they're pretty and a fast walker. Uh, they're plants, animals. Oh, and this pumped up their melee by four. That's going to help an awful lot. And also their social intellectual has gone up, which was... Yeah, I suppose that's that's a thing they can, they can have. But uh, more importantly, yeah, they've got a whole bunch of new abilities. Let's just uh, put them into bed. Uh, we'll come back to them in a couple of days. And then maybe we'll convert someone else at that point. While well, Lunk is sleeping off their genetic mutation coma. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this thing here, genes regrowing 2.1 years. That's how long it is before they can implant someone else. They can implant their vampire genes into someone else. However, they can't do it for 2.1 years or it would kill them. So you, you're deathless, but not quite fully deathless, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's build ourselves another bedroom here. That'll get everyone out of the tree area. And actually, let's see. Yeah, this is great. If we could pair up two more, that would be wonderful. Ah, buggery. Smokey started a social fight with Stalker. Okay, Smokey, what happened? Stalker compared Smokey's mother to a newt. This drove Smokey into a rage and she began a fight. Uh, okay. Uh, how long have you two hated each other? That would be good to know. Damn, where is your... Minus 58? Insulted me, harmed me, physically ugly, physically unsightly. Okay, you two really do not get along. Not not even a little bit. Um, okay, and you're the only two females in the group. Oh, and Smokey's a psychopath. Right. Well, never mind. Yeah, we'll, we'll just let you two beat each other up. Try not to do anything too serious. And no one lost any fingers or toes. No eyes, nothing like that. That's that's excellent. Are you two our only medics? No, no, no. Damon's... Uh, ah. Damon here is not our medic, is it? Yeah, Damon's our medic, so Damon should be able to sort you both out pretty quick. Okay, so we've hit a sort of a uh, junction point in our playthrough. Lunk here has recovered. I think they're just actually sleeping it off now. So they've been converted over to the, uh, the vampire side. They're going to have to do a death rest at some point, so I'm going to have to figure out how that sorts out. But uh, I think it's once every 30 days they have to do it, and it lasts about three or four, but you can speed it up depending on certain things, uh, as well as that... That stab scar should go away, that little toe destroyed, that should eventually heal up because of the new abilities they've got, which is wonderful. They can now jump really far, they've got some weird piercing spine, they can coagulate people's wounds, as in stop all bleeding instantly, which is pretty cool, and they can blood feed on prisoners. All really handy stuff. However, I do want to convert more people over to vampires, but I don't think I want to use Cooper for it. I think I want to stick Cooper back in the container. Now, Cooper right now is not going to cause us any problems. She's not going to be running off or anything. She's going to be... Uh, around for as long as we need her if we actually uh we could go along and extract her genes again but that would destroy her so let's not do that instead let's open this rare yeah this is the other vamp i think they're in bits are they yeah they are 19 conditions need tending i say Ooh. who gets it first i want to say chewy chewy might be able to use it quite well it would definitely crank up their social actually let me have a quick look so I did a bit of experimenting on a test save there. One second, put that when you're ready. Um, now the thing is, you can basically we could turn anyone into a, a vampire. Though the funniest one would have to be Damon here, because Damon has is an impid, which means if we turn them into a vampire, they would have pyrophobia, meaning they're terrified of fire. 
but they would also be able to spew fire out of their mouth. So they would be afraid of the fire they're spewing from their mouth, and it might actually cause them to have mental breaks if they used it. That, that would actually be hilarious, but no. I think uh, there's some other good contenders. Chewie would, Chewie would be good because the increased social would be handy for them, and it would also override their, was it their, their sleepy gene? So they'd actually be able to sleep faster and they'd stop spending so much time asleep. But we kind of need them to keep cooking food for now, so uh, I decided against that. Uh, then there was Stalker over here who's, well, they're going to be inside all the time anyway. They're going to be doing mostly crafting, construction, mining, all that sort of stuff. So I figured I'd just leave them and I left Smokey. Smokey, I think they'd work out pretty good. This is going to jack up their social, their intellectual even higher, which is great. We're just going to stack that all on top of them. Uh, at the same time, they're a psychopath. And we've also raised them up to a level with the human. So they'd be a royal, psychopathic, vampiric uh, piggy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think that's what we're going to go with. In fact, Smokey here, why don't you uh, absorb the Xenogerm? Yep, go for it. Now, that will give us two vampires in the team. Now, one thing I've realized, though, is I can't extract them twice from each of them. The only way you can extract them twice is if you either convert them to your side and they can voluntarily give it, or you turn them into a slave and they can semi-voluntarily give it to you. So we'd actually have to convert them over, and that might not be impossible. Wheel of 11.9, eh... Maybe. Uh, you. Um, someone, someone grab them and, and put them back in bed. They're, they're going to be out of action for a couple of days. But then we'll have two vampires up and running and we'll be good to continue on as a semi-vampiric colony with that also has a mecha, me, mechanator. In fact, we're going to want our mechanator to turn into a vampire as well. Here's Lunk here. Now, once once 2.1 years have passed, Lunk can convert someone else to being a vampire as well. So, yeah, the whole colony can go vampiric soon enough. For our next move here... Uh, Chewbacca is going to do a quick operation on Smokey. Uh, what we want to do is extract an ovum while they're unconscious. Well, they're, they were going to be unconscious for it one way or the other. It's just while they're unconscious, this makes it easier because, you know, they're anesthetized and all that, but they're already recovering, so this is not a negative in any way, shape, or form. Now, that gives us an ovum that we can play around with. Let's see. Let's check that in there. What was this one? Yeah, this was the one we wanted to open. Uh, Lunk, why don't you prioritize opening that up? Uh, yeah, capture Chris. Now, Chris here is a prisoner who we would like to use, so we are going to enslave them uh, sooner rather than later. It'll take them a while to wake up, though. They're currently sedated. But once they're sedated, we can start on our first child. While we wait for Chris to end up uh, broken, or their will to crack, what we're going to do is expand out over here. This is probably where we're going to stick some power generation and our animals. Don't want to that. We're going to need some battery storage. We need lots of space, don't we? I always am a little bit greedy about this space, I can't help it. I think we'll probably ch chuck in, tuck in the batteries here, there's, there's not really a lot of space. I normally like to do my grids up in a certain pattern. I use an 18 down, 70 acro 17 across grid like this, same over this side, and it just allows me to move things around without having to worry too much. My hospitals will always fit, my bedrooms will always fit, my kitchens will always fit. It, ooh, research good. Compact clothing is finished. That is excellent. That gets us the kids' clothing. Now, I think... I mean, don't get me wrong, there is loads of stuff we would like to come back here. We're, we're definitely going to have to come back for the death rest stuff at some point as well. And the exogenetics would also love that, but I think microelectronics are the way to go. The high-tech research bench gives us a research bonus. It also gets us the comms console. Yeah, we kind of got to go that way. Uh, though, after that, I will want to tap into that uh, geothermal power. There's actually, where is it? Yeah, there's actually loads of them on the map. You can see it in the, the top right over here. All, like, all those orange dots are geothermals. So we went with a large map. There's plenty of them. But none of them are down in this corner. Like, just none. We've got that one. Okay, there's this one over here that's not quite so close. We're going to be running power wires and repairing them as they get destroyed during raids. But it should be fine. We can let the kids run out and fix it. Well, that's awkward. Damon and Stoker just broke up. Um, but now I need to make another bedroom. Oh, that was all working out so nicely. I suppose they weren't getting loving, so it wasn't really going to work out. How did your How did you actually go down in the end? Uh, physically unsightly. Hmm. Well, I suppose it wasn't really going to work out so well when one of you is ugly and the other one is a... Well, actually, you're a pessimist, so yeah, it was never going to happen. Uh, how are we doing on this front over here? Chris, you almost ready to join us? Uh, 0 0.8. Yeah, we'll get around to you in the morning. All right, if we're lucky here, Chris has now joined us. Excellent. Chris, excellent. What we need you for is... Uh, please fertilize that. You see, Chris here is a waster, and the egg we got was from Smokey, who's actually a... I don't know. I don't know what the pig faction is called. Whatever. But basically, their kid should be something different. And uh, let's see. Embryo. Give me, give me the info on this. Okay, slate gray skin, aggressive, 
super immunity, pollution stimulus, poor artistic, awful animals, pig ears, hulk body, pig voice, strong stomach, robust digestion, and skill color. Okay, okay, that's nice. Now, ugh, okay, so the next bit. Um, yeah, we're just going to arrest this guy again. Put him right back in prison, and then we're going to... Ah, uh, we could make you a blood farm for a while. See, what's your mood like? You know what? I think we'll just anesthetize you and stick you back in a, in a container somewhere, just in case we need you again. This might not work out what we have planned next, so maybe having them around for later might not be the worst thing in the world. And in fact, we can make you for medical. Off you go, Chris. Just uh, go... What? Carry them to bed? Never mind. Uh, what we need to do is uh, implant this embryo in someone. Now, what I was going to do was wait until we got all the tech and gone down to growth vats. Problem is, it's taking forever to get there. We're going to need a bunch of power to run it all, and... Um, yeah, I'm in a rush, so we're going to do something probably a little bit darker than I've normally ever done. In fact, this is probably one of the darker things I've done. We're going to use a surrogate, and they're going to be a... Yeah, we're going to use a vampire. Uh, yeah, I was going to use Dan's here, because uh, of reasons, but a vampire feels less evil. I don't know why of using a vampire feels less evil, don't ask me, it's just, it's just what it is. So, yeah... Wait, wait, I was doing that wrong. I actually tried to extract their ovum. That was the wrong operation. No, what you do is you click on the embryo, and then you click implant, and then we are going to pick Cooper. Um, the implantation success for the embryo of smoking Chris and Cooper is 33%. Oh, it's depending on the fertility of the surrogate mother. It would be lower, lower if the mother is too old or too young. How old are they? 39? Yeah, what if we pick Downs? Uh... Okay, so why is it so bad for Cooper? Huh. Let me do some checking here. Okay, so according to the wiki, 20 to 28 is uh, the most fertile period. That's when you've got the best chances. Cooper's 39, so yeah, they're on the edge. Damn it. Okay, so that means we don't need Cooper. Unless we could de-age them, which we can't do. Okay, looks like we're doing it into downs, which, yeah, that, that does not feel like a good thing, but that's what we're doing. Uh, so they will be the surrogate mother for the child. That's a thing we're doing. We're using prisoners. Uh, I, I really feel like Rimworld has gone on a sort of a darker, a darker method than normal. I mean, and I, I'm someone who's made like a warehouse full of, of human skin hats, and I'm like, Ugh, this, this, this makes me a little uncomfortable, but it's okay. It's okay. It's only pixels, only pixels. Dan's is going through a little bit of morning sickness, and by a little bit I mean like a lot of morning sickness, so let's not do any operations while we're there. We decided to keep uh, Ima out, uh, reason being, well, uh, blood feeding. We, we need someone for Lunk and Smokey to actually keep topped up on. So yeah, we're going to keep those around. Uh, we might need a second one, I don't know exactly what the blood regeneration rate versus our consumption rate is, though I think it's time that Smokey went on a bit of a enslaving Cooper. Oh. Yeah, we're also going to try and break the will of Cooper. Once we've broken their will, we can then hire them on and, well, convert them into a slave and then rip out their exogenetics if we really need to and convert someone else, well, a third colonist over to a vampire. Uh, yeah, but I think for now what we're going to do is we're going to get Smokey to go on a bit of a trade caravan. See, out on the world map here, this place has refreshed. You can check up the top, restocked since your last visit. It takes 30 days, so both of these places have been refreshed. And we haven't been out in a while, and we've collected a lot of junk. Just, just so much junk. So give me a minute while I get everything together. Oh, and one thing here. When it comes to making a caravan, what I have discovered is if we form a caravan, and there's, like, there's all these different directions we can go in, the direction you go here doesn't naturally correspond with the direction your caravan will exit. For example, we could click on the top here and say make a caravan go this direction up top, but then on the world map, it might not actually go out the top of the map. It might end up going out the right or the left or the bottom. The two don't naturally correlate, but what does happen is if you do pick a direction, so for example, just say you pick here, the colonists, it seems, will always exit about this side of the map, right there, which is good for us. The other option is they go down over here, which is further away, and the other two options are way over this side or way over here, and they got to walk a long distance. It's just faster if we do the exit right through here, it seems, just from what little testing I've done. After forming the caravan with the direction we've picked, they all head out over, oh my god, all the way up here. Uh, still not the worst. The ones that go up to that end are just so frustrating. We really picked a bad place to, to stop on this map or to set up our base, but it was where the anima tree, anima tree was, so we didn't really have much choice. Smokey's caravan has arrived, and this is this is good. Like, they've got... The problem is it's too good. 
Yeah, but we can sell a whole bunch of stuff here. We got quite high social, so it's quite nice. We can sell off this junk. Though I am not going to sell off the silver mace. I made a mistake of bringing the silver mace. It's, it's It'll sell for 61 silver, but I'm pretty sure we can scrap it for more. What's interesting, though, is there's a flame bow. A simple, short, self bow with a load of incendiary arrows. The arrows carry fuel and an igniter. Upon impact, they spray fuel around and ignite it. So the tribals now get, like, fire arrows? I, I had no idea. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to sell off all of that junk and the t-shirt. The only thing we're going to keep is the, oh, the, uh, the plain leather bedroll. But things we want. We would like the telescope. That would give us uh, more forms of recreation. We would like the insanity lance and the shock lance, of course, because they're just so handy. Uh, at the same time, they have a good assault rifle, but uh, you know, I would prefer a good SMG, but whatever. Uh, where is it? They also have a psychic harmonizer and a psychic reader. I'd like those. They have a side trainer invisibility. Would love that. A berserk pulse. Would also love that. The intellectual one, not so much. Archite capsule. Would like that. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of things here I would really like, but we can't afford them all. And we need components. We, we desperately need components. But they've got cows as well. I think... We need cows. For some reason, I think you need milk to grow kids. So, yeah, I've read somewhere that we need milk. Wait, no. Don't get the 16-year-old male. Get the 7-year-old male. That way they can they can last longer. What's the average age on these things? I want to make sure that we can breed at least a few of them. Or that at least lives long enough to give us enough milk for a while. Any milk-based animal would have been good. According to the wiki, the only animals that give milk are cows, caribou, dromedaries, elk, goats, and yaks. Which... That's good. We're going to need more money and to come back here. I would like a bunch of this stuff they've got. But we might want to check out the other town as well and see what they've got on offer. But first, I want to head, I want to head back home, drop off the cows, and then after the cows have been safely secured, we can go on with our next trading run. Ah, it's lovely to see some bugs still exist. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's going to take Smokey forever to get back. Hey, but on the bright side, we'll get some cows, so long as no one starves to death on the way back. Uh, also, Smokey should probably top up on blood while they're here. How's our donor doing? Actually, I think Lunk just had a nibble. Yeah, Lunk topped up there just recently, unfortunately. Doesn't matter, Smokey can get some more when they come back the next time around. I think one prisoner can keep two vamps going, and uh, they'll have to double check. Well, okay, so did a little bit of a clean out of some of the map to get ourselves some, uh, some meat. But uh, we've got a psychic ship has landed. That's not good. Uh, what are we looking at here? Well, fire, of course, but we have five scythers. Five? Hmm. We can take that. Actually, wait, no. If we wait in the open, they'll probably shred us. Well, they'll run us down. I mean, okay, our vampires can get away. They've got the hopscotch ability, but everyone else would get run down and killed. These things move at a speed of five. Sorry, 4.7. Close enough. We'd prefer to face them in the dark, but that would reduce everyone's movement speed except for the vampires. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I've never really thought about that before. We can't really do combined arms operations, can we? Well, we're putting together a little kill section over here. We're going to lure them into this area. We're going to use Lunk to block, and then we're going to get everyone to do the shooting from the rear. We've got an auto shotgun to help out, and Damon is going to do the luring. They can move at 4.88, so we'll do it during the day, but then a party has started, so I suppose let them party. Uh, Chewbacca... Chewy, out of bed, buddy. You're gonna need you at this party. I want everyone getting their social on. Everyone needs to get their party bonus. You want to make sure everyone stays nice and happy. Oh, and how's the, uh, the kid coming along? Still in the first trimester. She has been uh, throwing up an awful lot, but we've been taking care of that problem and we've been jamming her full of food. So, so far, the baby seems to be well on the way. Well, god damn it. I'd really like to deal with one before you do another. Uh, a new quest has come active. It's called Cl Pirates with Climate Adjuster. Shifting the regional temperature by 10C, and there's an enemy outpost at the site guarded by two pirates. Right. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Where are you? Okay, we'll go kill you. Just not this minute. First, we gotta go deal with the psychic ship. First, we gotta have the party. Then we'll deal with the psychic ship. Then we'll deal with the pirates. God damn it. All right, trap is set. We're gonna open that door, lock it open. We're gonna put everyone behind it. But for the time being, Damon is the one who's gotta spring it. Now, first, got to attract their attention. That should be very easy. We just shoot this. Perfect. Now, I'm not sure if these are the type that chase or if they're the type that stop once they get too far away from their problem causer. So, we're just going to run and draw them towards us as best we can. Oh, yeah, they definitely seem like the chasing type. Uh, in that case, yep, yeah, we're going to bring you back to there. We're going to have a lunk. 
cover that and then we're gonna bring in all the rest guys uh leave that for now get over here wait where is stoker yeah stoker i'm gonna have you to equip a chain shotgun we kept it entirely for this reason we could use the mp cannon but honestly it doesn't slow them down long enough for it to make a difference oh the rain and thunderstorm are not helping damon's movement speed why are they moving so slow that's oh god this could go horribly wrong Jogger moving. Multiplier for light. Final light. Okay, so the light's not helping. No. Okay. Uh, can someone pick him up if they needed to? Nope. That's bad. Wait, what do you got new? You got a shock lance. Who's got an insanity lance and is close by? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Lunk, uh, you have deploy shield. No, Chewy, you have insanity lance. Hmm... Okay, so Stalker's got an Insanity Lance, and Chewie's got one. Stalker, I'm gonna need you to start moving out there, buddy. Uh, we're gonna need you to get as close to them as you possibly can. We can turn one of them insane. It will help slow down the rest. Great, two of them stayed behind. You know what? Not the worst thing in the world. Oh, what? Get doing this, but we're gonna have to fight them a little bit out in the field. Or actually, wait a minute. Have Damon go that way. Have everyone meet them out in the field. If we can drive one insane. That should buy us just enough time to get the other one. Perfect. Well, it would have been perfect if I had arranged my time a little bit better. But no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so those two will fight it out. Damon, gonna need you to run, buddy. Uh, everyone else is gonna stack up over here and wait for you. Oof. Trying not to hit Damon. Trying not to hit Damon. Oof. Yeah, that worked. Ooh. Damon, how you doing, buddy? Left leg cut. All right, fine. We will get you medical attention. Oh. No, we won't. What the hell happened? Why are you guys not killing each other? Oh, that guy's trying to run away from the other one. Um... Bleeding it in 17 hours. You know what? We are going to get you tended. Smokey, how you doing, buddy? You have... Yeah, you have the bet. No, not Smokey. Damn it. Damon's actually our best, so Chewie's going to have to tend you. Otherwise, you'd have to tend yourself. Uh, tend them without medicine? No. Tend with Damon. Tend them with medicine, if you wouldn't mind. The other three can take care of any problems here. Or maybe they can't. Actually, never mind. Problem is, this guy is fully, like, look at him go. He didn't get any scratches on him. Uh, Lunk is going to cover. Okay, then. So, let's get everyone back inside. We'll get them all healed up. There's two more over there. We can go back and take care of them, all with the entire group. Just, I don't want anyone having any mental breaks anytime soon. Uh, we'll take a quick bit of a heal break, and at the same time, we're going to clean the place up. That scyther cut was... Pretty nasty on Damon. That's fine, it's just uh, it's gonna slow us down taking out these last two. And the fires that got started are probably going to devastate a chunk of the map and drive off some of the wildlife. We've, we've got enough in the fridge, I think, that we can be fine. I'm not too panicked on that front. I just prefer to get rid of that before it gets any worse. I think we're down to... This keeps escalating every so often, so right now we're at 16, I think. Negative 16. Uh, wait, no. Oh, are you psychically immune or something? Wait, I'm an idiot. This is tuned to... Was it females only? And uh, Okay, right. So some of them are not getting it. So females are not getting hit by it. So Stoker and Smokey are not experiencing anything. But Damon, Lunk, and Chewy are all getting that... Well, minus six only on Chewy because they're actually psychically dull. Still pretty annoying and it's only going to keep getting worse. Yep. Oh, I think we've attracted their attention. Yeah, that's fine. Lunk, stand up front. Yeah, that shotgun's doing a number. Hey, Lunk. Stoker, back off a little bit. My god, why are you running past the guy who's whacking you with a big metal stick? You, pull back too. I need you both shooting. Not involved in melee. Uh, Lunk. Yeah, go pursue. They seem very focused today. 
Done, done, and done. Lunk. Smash. The reason we're going to send Lunk to do this, they just have the highest DPS of all of the characters. Uh, in fact, actually, let's try something here. You guys carry any of those back? Nah, we said you not to carry the corpses. Hey, we'll smash that open. That should get rid of the psychic drone, and then we can go take care of some pirates. So let's have a quick look here and see what kind of damage Lunk is doing. It's at 575. Huh. He has to need 23 points of damage. 552. Oh, okay, there we go. That was about... Oh, about 40 points of damage right there with that hit. Right, so Lunk just has, depending on which edge of the weapon he uses, or the hilt or whatever, he'll do different types of damage, but if he hits with the good end of it, he'll basically take a limb off. Or kill you stone dead. Perfect, good to know. I wonder if this gives out an EMP blast, because they do have a learning assistant, and I'm not sure they're good with EMP. So, let's find out, shall we? Uh, 27 should be instagon, and done. Oh, Lunk, how you feeling? Low psychic drone should now evaporate from your mental annoyances, and that should put you back up above the mood threshold where you're currently at. Seriously? Come on. You gonna refresh or something? Alright, we'll get you to carry back the component, though. Actually, grab the advanced component. Okay, okay, this has got to be an oversight, right? But we've got uh, gut worms. One of them on... I'm uh, one of our prisoners, that's fine. But the other one's on Lunk. Lunk Lunk's a vampire. How can vampires get gut worms? That makes... They have perfect immunity, but they can still get gut worms? I mean, okay, that's got to be an oversight, right? I just, I'm trying to imagine, like, one of those fancy vampires with gut worms. It just, ugh. Fine. Okay, Lunk, we'll put you on... Actually, how much good medicine do we have? Do we don't, do we? Fine, we'll stick you on herbal. Uh, awkward, it's going to be a while before you're going to be running around happily again. That's unfortunately going to drive down your mood a bit and make you incredibly hungry. I hope that does not affect your blood consumption. It could be even more awkward. Well, this is an interesting quest. I'm not taking it, but it's basically a quest where you take on a bunch of toxic waste packs and uh, you get paid some stuff. But honestly, the amount we're getting paid for that much toxic waste, hell no. Uh, to put this in perspective, you can fire off about 25 toxic waste pa packs in a transport pod. So 220 toxic waste by 6 kilos, that is 1,320 kilos of toxic waste. Uh, even if we tried to caravan that off the tile and we took all around packers and our entire team, we can only take 245 kilos. So it would take us about 6 trips with everyone, and that's assuming they were all, like, didn't have anything else carrying with them. Oh, that is a lot of toxic waste. I mean, if you're... If you're a toxic, toxic faction and you can just dump the waste all over your tile and not care, then then maybe, but still, I'm not... Uh, no, that does not seem like a fun one. All right, Smokey, how are you doing? You have... You need to probably... You know what? We'll grab you some food, uh, caravan you up. We want you to go have a look at that other location. I kind of wish we'd done our research maybe a little bit faster. Ugh, this is going to take forever to get to the tech we want, but I think once we hit that... Yep, um, that's the trade caravan. One second. Ah, oh, this place is pretty terrible. Um, I would like a television at some point or another. I'd also like the insanity lance and the shock lance. The problem is we just don't have enough money. Good minigun, that would be tasty. Nope, nope, we need to start finding a way to start grinding out cash. So, either drugs or crafting. One or the other. I think, oh, I think I'd like to get crafting up and running. Namely because we need to get stock up a bit so we can start making proper gear. Once we knock out the, nest, the rest of these researches, we're going to want to start crafting proper flak vests, uh, heavy SMGs, that kind of stuff, and just get everyone a decent setup. Uh, it's going to be a while if you don't have a good crafter. Oh, you may be wondering why we didn't go after that pirate quest. The one where there where is it? Pirates with the Climate Adjuster. From what I can tell, uh, they're shifting the regional temperature by 10C up. And, well, it's winter. So, yep, yeah, it's 24 degrees outside and it's winter time. So we're just going to leave it there. <laughs> Well, at least for another month. Once it starts to become uncomfortably warm, we'll go over and kill them. There's like three of them. It'll be grand. Remind me never to leave any doors open so that mad boom rats can get in. Thankfully, Damon is a little bit fireproof. Yeah, they're the fire-resistant one. Why are you not in your normal... Oh, yes, I changed your bedroom to medical. Sorry about that. That's why you were in there. Well, never mind. We'll move you out of there now, and we'll close that door behind you, and we'll let everyone get back to repairing that up. That was, um... That was dumb. I really did not think... Like, I saw the boom rat coming, and I'm like, oh, there's a minor issue. I put a couple of people there to kill it. I forgot that door was open, and it just went in and started nibbling on Demon. Demon. Well, now that we've got kid, a kid on the way, we're going to have to build some rooms for it. And the problem is we can't really stick with our normal grid design because we're stuck by a river. So I'm just going to chuck on some extra rooms for them. Yeah, this feels very strange to do. 
Uh, what happened? Oh, the eclipse is ending. Well, great. Now it's just seemed to have gotten darker all of a sudden. You should really install that mod that allows you to see at night better, but I think we'll just... Well, we can skip till morning. First off, for this child uh, little thingy, we're going to need wooden cribs, I think. We'll stick in some cribs anyway so that they have something to sleep in. Uh, you can go... Actually, you can go right about there. We'll have to extend on those electrical wires. And right there is grand. Then we can stick the babies in there. Is there a difference in sleep rate or anything? Rest effectiveness. Okay, so they rest better in there. Might not be better to have worse rest effectiveness so they spend more time sleeping and less time crying and annoying you? Eh, I don't know. Well, we'll have to do some research into that. Okay, but with that done, we're also going to need some of the other stuff they got in here. So we've got toy boxes, which... Yeah, we'll stick in one of those. Uh, baby decorations. And we've got blackboards and wooden school desks. Which, as far as I can tell, is a case of... We just do that. And that gives us three blackboards. And then we stick in a wooden school desk facing it. And... Actually, wait. We'll wait till they're done. You can see there's three of them there so that we can, like, put that up close. And boom. Now we've got two school desks and three blackboards. Even though they technically can't see them, it doesn't make a difference. They're in range. That's all that counts. Rimworld magic. Ah, here we are. Uh, you can see when we click on this one, it's got learning rate bonus 60%. I'll have to get back more on this because I still have to figure out what the learning rate's even connected to. But as long as we've got three connected blackboards, it gives them the 60% bonus. So, perfect. So this place is called... it's a nursery. Oh, excellent. Hopefully it's also good for education. I should probably floor it at some point as well, but I, a little bit of germs will toughen the kids up. Solar flare. Now what I'm worried about is these guys in here. Like, what's going to happen to them? Uh, 16 days? One de waste pack dissolves every 16 days. I think we're good, but after enough solar flares in a long enough time, they would decay. We're going to need to get rid of those at some point. But then we'll have to wait until after we've knocked out microelectronics. How are you guys doing? Working hard? Hardly working? 17 intellectual and 17 intellectual. Yeah, yeah, they're working hard. Oh, relationship. No! No, villager stump. What the? Oh no, they're arriving. They're, no, yeah, yeah, they're just passing through. That's fine. Yeah, your ex lovery is Valerie Cooper, who's currently indisposed. It's perfectly grand. Uh, no, I'm afraid she can't come out and meet you right now. She's uh, currently busy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. No. That's all you need to know. Anyway. We do have 22 components right now, so we could expand and put in some... Uh, we should, could put in some solar if we need to. In other words, we're coming up on, what, day 51. In nine more days, the possibility of toxic fallouts can hit. At which point, we need to have... Let's see. I would probably want at least two solar panels to keep one sun lamp running, just so we'd have some food going. We've definitely stockpiled plenty. I've got a thousand potatoes. And how much meat have we got in there? I, I hesitate to get any more food in there because it's actually driving up our wealth. But I think that should be enough of that. So here was me thinking, you know what? I, I would love another blood bag right about now because... Or, I'm over here, they just can't keep up with the blood donations. Smokey's down to like 40 hemogen? Lunk is doing fine, there I've been hogging everything. I thought I was going to have to tuck into the blood packs that we've got stored up here, you know. And that's our, that's our reserves, we don't need to eat into those. But we got a raid. It's a raid of mechanoids. Yay, with no blood inside them at all. And they've got two termites with them to rip down our walls and a couple of scythers. Um, hmm. We're dumping the auto shotguns. We're getting some ranged weaponry. We're meeting them in the field. If we can take out the scythers beforehand and deal with the termites afterwards. Yeah, Luck might have to get its hands dirty as well. I'm thinking... Yeah, whole team on deck for this one. All right, everyone's got their rifles. Let's roll out, people. Yeah, we do have an insanity lancer too to help us out with this if things get super hairy, but... Let's try not to waste those if at all possible. The assault rifle and the two bolts will outrange everything. The heavy assault, well, the heavy SMG will be required for taking care of the, the scythers that are getting too close. And of course, if they get really close, Lunk will chop them into little bitty pieces because that's what Lunk does. What the hell is going on over there? Oh. You, you want to take your time coming, coming to my base? That is fine by me, but I am going to go ahead and engage them in the field. Well, we're just about in range now. Oh. So, Nope, scooch left. Scooch left. Immediately. Uh, yeah, they seem to be bypassing us just slightly, but that's fine. Uh, maybe stand behind the rocks. I mean, cover doesn't matter against these things. They do splash. They have splash damage weaponry. Uh, Damon, get in there as well. Ooh. Let me check something here. What's the range on these guys? 
know what, I'm going to install the mod right now because I hate looking up these ranges when I'm trying to play because it gets really frustrating. Please say hello to the rangefinder mod. Okay, let's leave that on. There we go. That's our ranges. That's their ranges. Or, you know what, we'll turn ours off for the moment. We don't really care. We just want to stay outside of theirs. Yep, pull back a bit. Yep, oh, pull back. And get a few more shots off. This is really handy because it just allows you to know exactly where they are without having to click back and forth a dozen times a minute. Quick, 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 fall back. They're too fast. And right, maybe kill that one on the left a bit. Actually, that one on the left can... Whoa! Oh, Damon. Dancing with death there, buddy. Dancing with death. Ooh, that Miltor guy is a problem. Royal Tribute Collector. Now? Now is not a good time. We're sort of in the... Oh, where are you coming from? Oh, well, actually, you know what? If you guys want to, like... Uh, I would advise you to take the main road to the base. The main road to the base is... Uh, yeah, it's the, it's the best way to get there. You'll get there the fastest. Uh, Lunk, did you just get hit there? No, you did not. It bounced right off you. Well, of course it bounced right off you. You're Lunk. Okay, right, pull back a bit more. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a reoccurring theme here for a bit as we slowly chew these down. Oh, 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 oh. Out of range, please. Out of range. We could kill that little Milter bot. It would save us a bunch of time. Seriously? Is that guy moonwalking us? He's moonwalking us. Look. And we're actually getting... Oh, God, our shooting is so terrible. Like, we are missing pretty much so many shots. The reason being, our, our characters just are so low level. But on the bright side, after this, everyone should have got max shooting training for the day. Ooh, 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 ooh. Run, 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 run. Oh, God. Yeah, so that's why we're being careful. They have explosive weaponry, which is a little bit of an annoyance. Now, actually, does anyone have an insanity lance on them? If we could get our... If we could get uh, one of those, whatchamacallit, Scythers insanity, it would save us so much time. There you go. Uh, everyone else run. D did you activate that? I can't tell if you insan- Okay, now run. Yeah. That is beautiful. Okay. Nope, 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 run away. If that thing aggroes towards the other side, they're... Oh, come on, yes! That makes our life so much simpler. Quick, 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 get forward. Let's help our boy. Nope, nope, nope. Guys, don't, don't help the other one. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one you kill. Which one's the weakest? Uh, oh, actually, that one closest to us is the weakest. Maybe attack that one. Except for luck. And come on... 24, 23. Well, we're now in equal opportunities. Killer, so that's two down. And let's go get this last guy. This should be easy peasy. I think the insanity lands kind of put us over the edge. Come on, come on. Guys, do you want to hit the Miltor? Seriously, that guy is just laughing at us. Ow! Well, okay, that was my bad. I should have ran you all back just a little bit. But seriously, you guys had all the time in the world to kill that guy, and you missed him just as much as you possibly could. Oh, God, that's so embarrassing. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Uh, Lunk. What's your what's your leap ability like? It's pretty good. Hmm. I think for a second. All right. Lunk's got the armor. Lunk, let's do this. It... Perfect. And let's see. How you doing? Now, wait a minute. Where's the damage Lunk just did to you? Assault rifle, assault rifle, bolt action to assault rifle. Fine. And you're dead. Damn, Lunk. You just shattered the entire ring. 76 damp. Okay, I presume some of that was done by someone else already. That's, um, that's kind of crazy. Uh, you've got a bruise from a mini shotgun, and it has barely affected you. Wow. Took six points of damage. Okay, then. Um, we're going to call that one a nice win. Uh, we're going to pretend that whole thing with the Milter, Mil Mil Milter bot never happened. And now we're going to have to get someone to go defrost our prisoners, because it's time to sell them all. Um, except for Ima. We need them desperately for the blood. In fact, we need another blood bag pretty desperately one way or another. Oh, I, I should probably cover what Lunk just did there. They use their uh, ability, what is it, leap? 
They've got a long jump ability. Custom 5 hem Hemogen. Uh, so custom blood, but they can do a massive leap and get close to an enemy. Really great for a close combat tank like Lunk here. All right, everyone's coming back in. Damon, you are resting. In fact, you know, I keep... Let's just set you there. Rest until healed, buddy. Someone will be in to give you some medical tending in a bit. Uh, Chewy, you are going to rest. That's fine because you are lazy as all hell. And the rest of you, I'm going to need you to open all these crypto sleep, crypto sleep caskets. I'll put the vampires back in. I think the vampire's name is Rare and... Say... Chris? No. Crucius Cooper? Damn it. I'll figure it out in a minute. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Chris, Crucius, and Scalf. Now, the reason I'm not using them as blood bags is they've got a psychite dependency, which means we'd have to keep feeding them psychite as well as food. And that just gets annoying. Uh, also, they've got their anesthetic sedated, but that should wear off soon enough, and then we can actually sell them on. Well, that's the hope. You know, who's going to actually do the, the buying and selling is the one thing. Oh, damn it. Who's got... In is anyone incapable of social? Ugh, stalkers incapable of social. That means they, we can't give them any honor this way. But we should be able to get uh, Damon, Lunk, and Chewbacca one level with the Empire. So the way this works is we want about seven honor on people. That way, with seven honor, they can get the Yeoman Ceremony. Uh, Scalp and Chris are the ones we're going to sell. Each one's worth the three honor. Doesn't matter how good or how bad they are. So, done. Okay, that gets us up to seven? Or eight. I think they got us up to but they should get us up to about eight honor. Oh, sorry, six honor is what we needed. Uh so human title costs six, one for freeholder. That was it. Alright, uh we got one more prisoner to sell. Unfortunately, they're still incapable of walking. Still a little bit sedated. That should wear off shortly, and when it does, we'll sell them off as well, and we'll probably give that to uh, huh, Chewy could probably do with it. Well, Chewy or Damon. Hmm. Actually, no, I'll give it to Damon next, I think. Uh, let's get Lunk their yeoman, their yeoman ceremony. Their first level is good. Um, where are the guys going? Uh, okay, you should at least stand around a table. Something that does social. Anything that does social. Yay! Hey, Lunk, come here. Lunk is currently pray about to go praying. Um, right, well, begin your bestowing ceremony, buddy. You are you are well deserving of it. Yeah, this will give him one psychast level, which... Oh my god, that feels so pointless on Lunk. I don't think they're going to have a chance to use it, but hey, maybe they'll get a good ability. You never know. Lunk seems lucky. Perfect. Grandiose bestowing ceremony. What the? Nice. Okie doke. Received a, an extra one honor from the Empire out of respect. Oh, wow. I, I almost want to just like level them up at the Empire for fun. Just get them all the way to uh, count. That would be rather entertaining. No, that's no, that's too much. Effort. What what do we get out of his ability out of this? We got stun. That's actually quite useful. Hmm. I might get them to meditate a bit. Just keep that at about fifty percent on our side focus. That's pretty handy to keep that number up there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We will. We'll let Lung keep that uh, just ticking over. I think we're gonna call it call it the episode there for today. I'm 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 almost going over an hour again. I'm trying to keep these dead to about forty minutes or so or forty five just to keep them about a reasonable level because I know the hours are too long for some people. Um. Yeah, no, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it at all. All right, so Dan's there is in their second trimester. They should be entering their third. Uh, after that, we've also got a wooden crib going on, though I am going to have to make some clothes. I think you don't need clothes for the baby, but you're going to need the clothes for the kid when it grows to about three or four. We already have a wooden school desk ready to go, and we've got some wooden cribs to stick them in. Uh, feeding them wise, I'm pretty sure we've got enough milk. We got, yeah, we got 93 milk. I don't know if that's enough, but it's it got to be, right? If it's not, well, we've still got cows. We'll sort something out. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.